What drew you into this field or mediation? Where did you start having come out of law school in 1968? Started in prisons. Uh -huh. um, I, my first big assignment when I got out of law school, I was with a small law firm, uh, was to help out on a Ford Foundation funded study of prisons. And when that was over, I vowed that I was going to do something with my legal education to help prisoners. So I put together a proposal, it was frankly easier to get money in those days, uh, to what was then a government agency called the Office of Economic Opportunity, uh, Office of Legal Services, which was the forerunner of today's legal services programs. And they had a demonstration program, and I got money to run the first uh, program for representing prisoners legally. And what we were trying to do, frankly, we had a lot of young short-termers, was to figure out a way to get the system to return our phone calls, to deal with us short of filing a lawsuit. And because these were the days when the courts were starting to order far-reaching reforms in prisons, some of the more reform-minded administrators were interested in talking to us about that. And we set up processes where we were teaching people internally to do some mediation, both prisoners and staff, to mediate disputes. And if they couldn't reach resolution, um, outside volunteer labor arbitrators were coming in to make decisions. So I, knowing nothing about mediation or arbitration, having taken neither in law school, they were not exactly popular topics in those would days. Would you even talk at that point? I think arbitration might have been in the labor area. Mm -hmm. I missed labor law. Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. turned out that was fortuitous mm -hmm. because I and my colleagues all thought that in the labor field there were people actually mediating grievances on a day-to-day -day basis. It turns out that isn't so. It wasn't so then, isn't even so now. Um, but we came up with a model to try to mediate grievances. And some of those models still exist in a few institutions in the country. And ironically, we went from there to schools. And we did a lot of work with schools in California setting up mediation programs which have morphed into what is now called peer mediation. In those days, nobody knew what we were talking about. And from there, it wasn't a very long journey to community mediation programs, which were beginning to catch on in the, in the 70s. Mm -hmm. There began to be some money to fund uh, community or municipal uh, mediation programs.